was a kid, I was playing around in the plant of my father's factory and it was all the time for me, since I was young, uh, clear that I like to do something by my hands, uh, by myself. And soon I was in the position to have a little bit money. I followed to this dream and uh, to this idea. Well, uh, one of my first customers was probably Hans Thoman uh, in the early 80s. He was, I think, one of my first customers. Then I had some other German customers, of course, but uh, some don't exist even anymore. This comes all the time back to two names, uh, or to three names. It was uh, John Antwistle and Jack Bruce. I don't remember anymore if I met at first Jack and second John, but it was more or less in the same year. And uh, from the German players was Francis Buchholz from the Scorpions. They were my first uh, most important artists uh, I went in contact. John was very instrumental and he had uh, very clear ideas what he liked to have and uh, how the instrument, in which direction the instrument goes, has particular to do how he were playing and how he was playing. Jack Bruce loved from the first day the sump bass when he got it in his hand. This was, uh, I think, his uh, first instrument after a short time. And he was playing already before the sun bass, before I met him. And uh, Francis was uh, even important in that way that he gave us uh, information as how the instrument should be and the streamer uh, should play, etc. Yes, uh, Francis had some, uh, some ideas as well. Happy anniversary, Hans Peter and Florence, and to everybody at Warwick. This is Francis Buchholz. When I started playing bass in the 60s, I was proud owning a Framus Strato Deluxe bass. In the 80s, when Hans Peter formed Warwick, we met for the first time. I was impressed by his passion and his vision. He then gave me a black streamer bass, which I played in the studios and on numerous worldwide tours with Scorpions and Temple of Rock became my number one base, which has never let me down, always state of the art. Recently, I designed this Candy Apple Red Streamer. It looks, it feels, and it sounds amazing. Thank you, Hans Peter, for 35 years of friendship. Have a wonderful anniversary. Hey guys, this is Wolf Hoffman from Accept. I'm super excited to be part of the famous Warwick family and to have my own signature model. I've been playing it uh, every night for a few years now and I'm super thrilled. So I just want to say thanks and a happy anniversary Warwick and keep on making great stuff. Enjoy the day. We'll see you soon Hans Peter. Take care. Bye. And I'm just uh, uh, sending this message and love and respect to congratulate you for all these beautiful years, 35 years of making such a great product. Just keep going, my friend. Uh, just go for another 35 years. Just keep making such a great product. And I'm so very grateful and thankful to know you. And uh, hopefully I will see you soon and stay in touch. God bless. Peace. <laughs> えー、この度はワーウィック社創立35周年ということでおめでとうございます、えー、私にとってワーウィックは憧れのベースで、えー、この他にはない音と見た目が大好きで、えー、もうもはや体の一部になっています、えー、ワーウィックファミリーになることが私の大きな夢だったので、えー、その夢が叶って今とても幸せです、えー、これからもワーウィックと一緒に音楽人生を歩みたいと思いますこれからもよろしくお願いします was helping Hans Peter to work in the office and very quickly I realized that he was needing someone which would take care of the export business in a more professional way. So uh, we agreed together that I should focus only on the export business, which was leaving him more time to take care of other important tasks. When we made uh, the Dolphin base, when we designed that, uh, it was with a German artist, uh, Dieter Peterreit. That was exciting too, because it was again a different direction. But I mean, every model we designed, uh, was it with Vampire or with Corvette, it was all the time a new step for us in a new direction and to learn uh, the specific problems with this entire model. 
to make a perfect uh, instrument or uh, to getting the level, it says all the time, with the time being you are, and with the environment and the possibilities you have. Well, uh, you can do to a certain circumstances a very good quality uh, instrument by hand, but to getting in a certain perfection, uh, you need uh, certain tools or you need high tech equipment. It's uh, without uh, what we have today, uh, we couldn't make an instrument in the quality, in the level uh, we have. But you have to see it over time in the time you're living, in the period you are. Uh, because you learn with what you're doing and uh, you open up all the time your horizon uh, in the new level. You, you're sitting on a certain project and when you finish it and during your finishing it, you have already the next idea uh, behind where you can got, get better and where, you t uh, where you're able to increase the quality. So that's for us a an, an process, if it is famous or, or Warwick, uh, to, to get the knowledge and uh, to get really into the perfection as we are building today instruments. Hello everyone, this is Billy Sheehan. Uh, I'd like to say a very, very happy special anniversary to Warwick, 35 years, pretty amazing. Uh, thank you very much for everything you do for the bass community. Not only make great basses, but you also are such a great help to musicians all over the world. Thank you very much, happy 35th anniversary. Dr. Shane. Ah, the name is Bootsy, baby. And I'm sitting here with my friend, Manu Gavin. And we're here recording her new album. And she's a brand new member of our Warwick family. And by the way, Manu. Yeah? We should wish our Warwick family a happy 35th anniversary. <laughs> Yeah, Manu. Yeah. Play a few notes for me. Come on. Oh. Come on. Come on. Come on. Now what? <laughs> <laughs> Happy anniversary, Happy Warwick. Happy anniversary, Warwick. Thank you. Hey, everybody. This is Devin Townsend, and I would like to say Happy Birthday, 35th to Warwick and Framus. I've been working with Framus for maybe about five years exclusively, and I have known about the company obviously since I was a little kid. Actually, the first instrument that I ever played was a Framus banjo that my father had. And that leads me into one of the several reasons why I enjoy our relationship so much. First off, um, it's a company that is based around a family, and that means a great deal to me, specifically in an environment and in an industry where things like that seem to be of uh, less importance than it used to be. So the fact that I have the sense that this company is run with a sense of passion is uh, first and foremost part of my heart, but also when it comes to the practical matters of what I need to do and how I need to function as an artist, that family passion is carried down into instruments of completely uncompromised quality. And after playing guitar for 35 or 40 years, to finally find a home with a company that excels in ways that other companies have not even begin began to, uh, to understand is very similar to what I strive for in my own music. So thank you, Hans Peter. Thank you, everybody involved. Thank you to the family. And uh, we will continue into the future because it is those of us who are unwilling to compromise that will make the new world. Thank you. Thank you for the support. Look forward to many more years. Cheers, guys. It was during the movement in 1995 uh, when I got a new person to my company. It was Bruno Bianchi. And, uh, his big idea was to relaunch already 1995 Famous. And it was for us a complete new different world because making a base is uh, something completely different as to manufacture or to build an electric guitar. It took us uh, 10, 12 years, uh, maybe some people think we are too slow or 
uh, that you could do it faster, but uh, to get into the direction as we have today with a famous brand, with a variety of models we offer, it took us uh, 12, 13 years uh, to get in this position. Hey, I'm Emma from Sick Puppies. I just wanted to say happy 35th anniversary to you guys at Warwick. Um, I absolutely love you guys. Uh, thank you to Hans Peter, thank you Flo, Estelle, Nicholas, Marcus, all of you guys are awesome. And uh, just a little story, um, a couple of years ago we got our trailer broken into and my bass got stolen, I was heartbroken. You guys overnighted me this bass right here and I'm so grateful. I've been playing it ever since and uh, I just wanted to say thank you so much. Um, it was one of the best experiences of my life when we went to the base camp in Germany. And um, I don't know, I, I met Victor Wooten, one of my idols, and I'll never forget that. So thank you guys, hope to see you soon. Hey Warwick, Felix Pastorius uh, here, all the way from Brooklyn. Uh, hope all's well. Uh, it's a very special year for you guys, uh, actually for me as well. Uh, we're both turning 35 this year, so. Uh, Here's to another 35, and thank you for your friendship and your wonderful instruments, and hope to see you all very soon. Cheers. Hey, HP, this is John B. Williams. Listen, happy 35th anniversary to you and your family and to all of the Warwick family. I wish you all the best in another 35 years. To commemorate that, I want to just read a nice poem that I did for you that called The Lovely Meadow. As I skip gaily through the lovely meadow, I move gracefully as a warm, tender biscuit, fresh from the oven. Becoming one with the fluffy bunnies, I frolic with the woodland soulmates. And I share my food with some elves. The sweet robin redbreast brings me some crumpets as I dance an autumn jig. Damn, I got a rash. This is a challenge uh, for all the makers. Uh, you saw it in other industries uh, where consumers are overaging and uh, collections coming back to the market. But I think it's still for innovative and for good product is ever is all the time in a certain market. Of course, if you over spray, spread or over expand the potential of buyers that you produce more as the request in the market is, uh, then you will fail and your brand will, will not stay in the level. And uh, keeping this balance uh, to a certain extent of numbers, uh, I think it's very important and uh, you must try to give a value to the, product, uh, to the consumer, to the artist. And uh, if you do that, I think you have a bright future for the company. But uh, you never can make 100, 500,000 instruments. Uh, the market don't uh, eat that anymore. Hola, Jorge Campos, acá desde Santiago de Chile. Eh, les mando un abrazo grande por estos 35 años. Quiero contarles que hace 24 años que yo trabajo con los instrumentos Warwick, con los amplificadores Warwick. Estoy muy feliz y honrado de participar de esta familia, de trabajar con estos instrumentos maravillosos. La calidad de su sonido es impresionante. He podido a trabajar estilísticamente muchos proyectos en los cuales trabajo y tocando armónicos, slap, tapping, acordes y la verdad es que se diferencia mucho del resto de los, de la otra, de los otros instrumentos. Así que les mando un abrazo y comentarles y contarles que ha sido un, contarles que ha sido un real placer trabajar todos estos años con los instrumentos Warwick. Muchas felicidades en estos 35 años. Paz y amor. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support over the years. Special shout out to HP and family and the entire staff at Ward. I really love working with the company because they make you feel like a part of their family. And they make the most beautiful instruments in the world. Beautiful paint job, beautiful tone, and just beautiful people. Looking forward to seeing you guys at base camp. Hi, I'm really glad to be part of the Warwick Artists program. Um, I find that Warwick really give me bases right out of the box that just work and just sound right. I've worked very hard with Marcus Bangler. Uh, he's adapted the Warwick sound to suit what I do. I need a lot of mid-range in, in my bases and that's what he's been giving me. Uh, every bass I've had from Warwick works right outside of the box, so I'm very happy to be a part of your company. Thank you.
Being a European company is not easy to get the interest and attention from worldwide importer. Uh, we have to work much harder as American company, which already penetrates 60% of the worldwide market, and ASEAN company who has the benefits of low prices. So it's make it quite difficult for us to compete. Uh, but the last 15 years, uh, we are focusing very hard on the Framus and Warwick branding. Uh, with the outstanding quality of our instrument and with our artists and partners who support uh, the brands. So I can say that uh, the last two years we are in a good way. If you try to make something really on the high end, it is uh, time consumption and uh, you cannot count it in hours or in minutes. Uh, when we started uh, in the mid 80s, uh, we were making an instrument with far less of machinery we had in uh, six hours and seven hours. We were extremely fast in this time. And uh, if I count today the hours uh, we're using for an instrument, it is 50, 60 hours. Uh, uh, it is nearly standard what we need uh, for bass or for guitar. And uh, you, you cannot work on time. Uh, the goal is uh, the quality and the time is secondary. And this you cannot do uh, in a low budget or in a middle budget instrument. Uh, if you work in a middle budget instrument, you must make already compromises, of course. The middle level from us, the team built uh, Pro Series, that is already a very good standard. Good, running? A action. Action. Hey, Hans Peter and the lovely Warwick team, uh, congratulations on 35 years of top, top instruments and amplifiers. I wish I could be there celebrating with you, but I'm on a train in a quiet carriage. <laughs> Uh, so I can't, and I've got a handover. So um, lots of love to you all, and I can't wait to meet up with you all and knock out some good bass riffs. Bye bye. Hallo zusammen. Ich möchte euch heute ganz kurz erzählen, was mich zu Framus verschlagen hat. Das eine ist die Instrumente. Man muss sie bloß mal in die Hand nehmen. Die sprechen für sich. So eine Qualität sucht wirklich ihresgleichen. Das andere ist aber, und das ist für mich auch ein ganz wesentlicher Punkt. Man ist hier ein Teil einer großen Familie. Man kommt hierher und fühlt sich aufgehoben. Da ist ein Markus, der einem alles zeigt, Hölzer zeigt. Man kann hingehen, man kann die Hölzer anfassen. Man, man riecht die Hölzer. Man sieht die Menschen mit den Hölzern arbeiten. Man kann sich die Hölzer aussuchen für sein Instrument, für sein Trauminstrument. Man kann sich alles bauen lassen, was man so möchte. Und ähm, es ist einfach schön, hierher zu kommen. Jedes Mal wieder. Ein herzliches Dankeschön an Hans-Peter und an Markus an dieser Stelle. Und ich bin wirklich stolz, diese Instrumente spielen zu dürfen. Bonjour, je m'appelle Philippe Gonan. Je suis endorsé par Warwick depuis bientôt 30 ans. Si j'ai choisi les basses Warwick, c'est d'une part parce que je les trouve très très belles, mais aussi bien sûr pour leur son. Vous savez, lorsque vous arrivez en studio ou en répétition et que la première chose qu'on vous dit, c'est que vous avez un super son, eh bien c'est très gratifiant pour un bassiste. Et ce que j'ai aimé chez Warwick, eh bien, c'est que c'est une vraie famille. Hans Peter et toute son équipe seront toujours là pour que vous vous sentiez au mieux sur votre instrument, dans votre musique. Alors merci Hans Peter et joyeux anniversaire Warwick. <rire> well, of course, it is not an easy gig, and we sometimes have conflicts and disagreement about how the work has to be done. Uh, that's normal, I think. Everybody has his own opinion and conflicts always can happen. Uh, but uh, we've, I think we found a good balance and uh, we are able to leave the work out of home. So once we are at home, we don't talk about business anymore. And um, as I love the company as much as Hans Peter does, uh, I think this is one of the reasons why we are, after 25 years, still a very happy couple. And I think this is not very common uh, still in our uh, business or in, in, in the life in general. So uh, 25 years of married life and 25 years working together, I think uh, we are a very good team. Hello, my name is Ralph Armstrong and I am playing Warwick Basses. I have played with everybody you think of in music from Frank Zappa, to Carlos Santana, Miles Davis, John McLaughlin, Larry Coryell, 
and I've played a lot of instruments. As you can see, I've got basses here, and compared to my Warwick instruments, these are nothing but toys. Warwick has the best quality out of any bass I've ever used in my life. They have a craftsmanship that goes back to Jakob Steiner or Gaspari Desolo, the original bass makers. And it even has, even not plugged in, the wood vibrates. So in my life, I've never had an instrument or been for company as fine as Warwick Francis. And I'd like to thank H.P. Wilfer and all Marcus and all the people at Warwick. And I will continue to use these wonderful products. And also I'm holding the Ralph Armstrong model Corvette. It is a hot ride. It is fly. It's got booty. It's got hip. It's what's happening. And it's got low end. To all you bass players out there, check out the real deal. Get a war. Peace out from the D. Detroit, Michigan. Ralph Armstrong. Peace. Hello everybody, Reggie Wooten here. I want to say happy 35th anniversary to Framus and Warwick, the best guitars and basses in the world. to uh, Rex's labyrinth of mess. Hey, I wanted to uh, I wanted to say happy 35th anniversary to uh, all the gang at Warwick. Um, I have never worked with a company that has been so hands-on in everything personally that I've needed, and also as far as building these bases, they they are supreme. Um, I'm just so thrilled to be a part of the family. And this goes out to Hans and Flo and everyone. Uh, there's too many to the name, you know who you are. But I want to congratulate you on 35 years of your ongoing support. And uh, and here's to 35 more, man. You know, more of it kicks ass. Appreciate it. Thank you. See ya. Well, the most important changes in the last years is 2007, 2008. We decided uh, and and plan for the future that we say uh, the goal is to reach the highest quality which is possible. And uh, we implemented a lot of small details in the last 10 years uh, to an instrument, what uh, oftentimes musician and artists don't see directly. Uh, and this was a very big project and uh, uh, it was not easy for us to succeed uh, in the last years to reach this level, but finally we did it. With Marcus I found uh, the person, which I all the time were hoping to find, who has the same passion I have, but coming with a different background of education and knowledge into the company. I'm now with Warwick since the 1st January of 2008. I'm building instruments since I'm in the age of 15, 16, something like this. I learned on one side building instruments. The other thing is I was learning cabinet making, um, cabinet maker master, and also I studied interior design. And uh, the standard of the instruments we are doing today, it's uh, definitely uh, made for Markus, but he is in the position for his knowledge and uh, background he had from the past where he was learning that we can implement uh, what we like to do and to learn and to train uh, the team of makers in the workshop. Making the small details better to make an, an, an out of great instrument a perfect instrument and this to bring in into a bigger production it's always a hard thing but also to, to teach um, the employees, the stuff um, that they have to do things with passion and that they um, want to do it 
um, by themselves to do things by passion and drive it to perfection or drive it to perfection. This is the, um, the hard thing to get that the employees or the, the workers understand what we want and also that they understand that they are part of the whole thing and not only me, also the other people have to do their part to make a perfect product. Happy anniversary, Warwick. Thank you so much for 35 years of awesome instrument making. We're all here to celebrate the makers and the musicians that make all of this possible. Thank you to HP and thank you to the Wilford family for always supporting me and the musicians that make the music of the past, present, and the future. What exactly do you get, do you get the guy who has done all of this for everyone? Well, I say I bestow upon you, HP Wilfer, this bad motherfucker wallet. Because that's exactly what you are, is a bad motherfucker for doing all this for everyone. Thank you so much for everything. Everyone, party hard. Hello there, this is Scott Reeder, and I just wanted to wish Warwick a happy 35th anniversary. I just finished recording uh, my third full-length LP with Warwick Basses, and I can't thank you enough for these beautiful instruments. Right there, next to my dog's scooter. It's been an honor and a privilege to be part of this company, part of this family. I cannot thank you enough. Here's to many, many more. Prost. Hi there, this is Shane Embry from Napalm Death. I came across Warwick Bases in 1997 and uh, we were recording the Inside the Torn Apart album. Um, always loved the stream of twos, the shape, the sound, the tone, um, the whole structure of the bass um, for me. Perfect, it was like my musical soulmate. Um, I played other basses, but for me, Warwick really is just perfect for me. It just has everything that I need. I can work with the tones, and it's just really powerful. You can just tell the difference straight away as soon as you plug it in, compared to a lot of other bass guitars. And um, congratulations on your 35th anniversary, and I will be with you guys forever. I was all the time open and I'm still open for innovations and for new ideas. Uh, well, but you have to keep the balance with a tradition. So you cannot break on one side with a tradition because our consumers, our artists, our players don't accept all changes. And you have certain uh, examples in the industry where some some big companies changed some really important things for, for players and they failed. Uh, so you cannot implement everything you like to do. So you have to balance uh, to make new things, to go new directions, uh, making innovations, but still never lose exactly the roots from where you are coming. Bonjour à tous, je me présente Stéphane Castry. Je fais partie des bassistes français endorsés par Warwick. Qualité, efficacité, professionnalisme, respect de l'environnement et bien sûr une façon très particulière de faire sonner le bois. Voilà à quoi je pense quand je pense Warwick. J'ai envie de dire merci à Hans Peter et à toute son équipe pour l'occasion. Alors joyeux anniversaire et longue vie à Warwick. Sehr geehrter Herr Wilfer, sehr geehrte Mitarbeiter der Firma Warwick. Im Namen der Lehrer und Schüler des Gymnasiums Magdenkirchen gratuliere ich ganz herzlich zu Ihrem 35-jährigen Firmenjubiläum und bedanke mich gleichzeitig für die großzügige Unterstützung unserer Schule in der Vergangenheit. Ich wünsche Ihnen ein tolles Reefland Festival 2017 und für die Zukunft natürlich die Fortschreibung der Erfolgsgeschichte Ihres Unternehmens. Why do I work with Framus? Well, the main reason is sitting right here in my hands. But beyond that, it boils down to family. This is a family-run company, and they make all of us players feel like we're part of that family. They make us feel like they care about building great instruments and about us as people. And that makes all the difference. When you factor in that this is also a green company that leaves no carbon footprint, that really puts it over the top. Uh, so I, I think that what Hans, Peter, and everyone at Framus do every day is extraordinary on a lot of levels, and I'm very, very proud to be associated with them. So happy 35th anniversary, Framus. 
and here's to many, many more. Hey everybody, it's Stuart Hamm coming to you from beautiful sunny Los Angeles, California. And I'm making this video because I want to wish a happy anniversary to everyone at Warwick. It's been my pleasure to get to know HP and Flo and Nico and Estelle and of course the great Marcus Spangler who helped me design and build these three great Warwick Stuham signature bases that I'm playing and this beautiful Triumph bass that I use a lot. So anyway, here's to 35 years and here's to 35 and many more years. And I look forward to our long relationship between Stu Ham and Warwick. have uh, customers since 35 years. Uh, we have uh, consumers, players, which having three, five, uh, ten works. Uh, well, sometimes I find even already some who has one or two famous or three famous guitars, but it's rarely. But uh, this is uh, the biggest honor I achieved in my life uh, to get sometimes every day emails with, satisfact uh, with satisfied uh, consumers which are proud to play Warwick and uh, this is uh, the biggest achievement in my life uh, that I achieved that and for that I like to say thanks and of course I like to say thanks uh, to my dealers and to my distributors some I know even since 35 years uh, or 30 years and uh, I think it's a big loyalty uh, which we achieve from our dealers or from our uh, distributors which are helping of course to, to be in a good position and uh, uh, to survive. I'm so proud of the friendship we have with our artists. Can you imagine that some of our artists are following Framus and Warwick since more than 30 years sometime? And uh, I think it's very r rare for a maker that uh, you see artists feel like home and uh, and that they love us as we love them so yes i'm very proud about uh, the friendship we have with our artists and i really thank them from the bottom of my heart for all the support they do for uh, framus and warwick and of course i take uh, the opportunity to thanks as well uh, all the distributors the reason why i am using warwick base uh, because i just like the sound of Warwick Bass. The difference from Warwick and the, the other companies there is, uh, for me, the people working at Warwick, uh, Hans Peter and uh, Florence, they are very so nice. And uh, for me, the, that company is like uh, my family. That's why I love Warwick. The finally, the Warwick company made me the, my signature model, which is the, the Infinity Six Strings model, uh, fretted and fretless. Those bases are very special. Uh, it's the sound and the color finished and the feels the wonderful. Wishing Warwick happy 35th anniversary and uh, I hope you have a, another 100 years of great success. Thank you. HP! Yeah! Sitting, good cheer, yeah! Celebrating! 
35 years. It's funky, don't you know? Let's also send it out to flow. fly also to Estelle and Nicka lie <laughs> don't lie don't no, lie don't lie no lie seriously HP this is all on you man we're all here we love you. you we Keep love going. you thank you and here's to another 35 years we'll be old men by then but HP will still be young he does that I think we will never stop to walk, even if we retire. So we will still be involved in the company. <laughs> this is funny to talk about retirement when everybody knows how Hans Peter is a work alcoholic. I like to say thanks to my family, especially to my wife Laurence, who supports everything uh, uh, since over 25 years and uh, back me up all the time. And yes, to my uh, two beautiful kids and to the stuff which is around uh, like 25 years certain stuff. I want to thank Hans Peter to make everything happen what we have here in our headquarter in Markner because it's an advanced and state of the art production and also the how the production and how everything is here, the facility, it's, it's amazing. It's also for the, for the employees amazing to work in an environment like this because this is a an, an, an thing what you don't see too often. And also, you know, he's spending all his money in the company. He could buy other things, whereas then he has maybe a little bit less trouble for certain things. But um, this is the, the thing where I want to say Hans, to Hans Peter, thank you. For, for doing this here. And of course our musicians, our friends, our uh, customers, they are supporting us because with, without them, it's not working. I still have uh, seven to eight years at least in front of me. And I hope uh, that Nicola uh, uh, will come in a, in a great way. He's already in a good way in the company, but that he continues to be passionate and to build up his position. And yes, I hope uh, uh, if I get 65 or uh, 67, that I have a chance uh, to do still something, but something different. And yes, uh, I still have it in my mind that I would love to do a restaurant, if it is maybe in Markenkirchen or if it is maybe somewhere else, I don't know, but I will see. But it would be a great uh, idea or hope I can do someday. My big dream or yes, my vision is uh, that uh, we will be in a couple of years even successful uh, with Framus and uh, I put a lot of my efforts uh, in the guitar market and I'm sure uh, that we will succeed uh, in a couple of years but it's a very very difficult way uh, to implement in a certain way a new brand uh, into the market but uh, yes it's a dream for me uh, to build up Framus uh, to a top level brand uh, for electric guitars. And well, by work, we will follow the way we did the last 35 years uh, to try to be the best in the bass market. Thank you very much. And maybe we see us in 35 years through the 70th anniversary. <laughs>